Infrared remote controls work by flashing an infrared LED. People can't see infrared light, but digital cameras can, which explains why you can see it here. But how does the light actually transmit a signal? The signal is transmitted using binary code. That means the signal is made up of ones and zeros, or on and off states. The remote control manufacturers define a certain protocol. This protocol describes how an LED light should flash to represent a zero or one. If you were to draw a waveform that represented this binary code, it would look something like this. These blue slashes indicate where the digits would be separated. You can see that the zero is represented by a short pulse, and the ones are represented by a long pulse. The top of the graph represents the LED turned on, and the bottom represents the LED is off. You can see the first digit has the LED turn on and then off and then on really quickly. The second digit has the LED off for a longer amount of time. That's how your television is able to distinguish between a zero and a one. It's the amount of time between pulses that determines whether it's a zero or a one. Not all protocols are the same, but this is a good example of how it can be done. Whenever you push a button on your remote, it has to send a few pieces of information. First, it sends a special start code. This might be a long pulse. Then it's going to send the command. This might be something like volume up or volume down. Then it'll send an address. And then finally a stop code. The command will be some binary number like this. And the address will be another binary number. The address represents something like a television or DVD player. That's how your devices know if a command is destined for it or not. To actually transmit this information, your remote will flash an infrared LED that looks something like this. But it doesn't just flash the LED on and off. It'll actually flash at a very specific rate. A common frequency is 38 kilohertz. This means that every time the LED is in the on state, it's not actually completely on. It's flashing at 38,000 times every second. This is how your television is able to distinguish the infrared light from your remote control and the infrared light from some other source, like the sun. The infrared light from the sun is going to hit the sensor just like the infrared light from your remote. So how does the sensor know who to listen to? The sensor is designed to respond only to infrared light modulating at 38 kilohertz. That means the light from the remote will hit the sensor, but the unmodulated light from the sun will get blocked. Like it's not even there. So the next time you go use one of your remote controls, stop to think about how much is actually happening when you press that button. Infrared communication isn't only good for your TV. You can do more interesting things with it too. You can see the helicopter remote uses infrared codes just like the TV remote. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like or subscribe.